Hello and welcome to my Hip Hop Collection Part 6. Today I'm just going to be going through all the DVDs that I own that are hip hop related. So we've got the documentaries, we've got the movies which star hip hop artists, um, live performances. Now I'm not going to go through any of my Eminem collection. I do own a lot of his DVDs. I say this in most of my videos but um, I'm going to be doing a full video just of my entire Eminem collection. So that'll be coming soon. So let's get straight into this. So starting off, we have Gridlocked. Uh, this stars two-pack. I don't actually think I've ever watched this before. I forgot I owned it, so I'm actually going to give this a watch soon. How High. I think most people know about this film. I've watched it years ago. I can't actually remember it. Hustle and Flow. Uh, this is a great film. I've seen this a few times. I do actually want to get the soundtrack. Bones, uh, I think it's one of Snoop Dogg's films. Uh, I gave this a go, but I couldn't get into it. Paid in Full, another great film. The Wrecking Crew, uh, starring Ice-T and Snoop Dogg. Again, I think this is one of them I haven't watched. I just grabbed it, uh, just to add to the hip-hop collection. Menace to Society, uh, another fantastic film. Waist Deep. Star in the game. Uh, I did really enjoy this uh, film, to be honest. I've not watched it for a while, though. And then going on to my Blu-rays, got a few of these. We've got Ill Manners. This was directed and produced by the uh, UK artist Plan B. Really good film. Southpaw. Now, obviously, this stars 50 Cent. And I believe that Eminem was meant to play Jake Gyllenhaal's... Well, the main parts years ago. But I think he turned down the role. I believe it was meant to come out quite a while ago, just after 8 Mile. All Eyes on Me, 2 Pack. Now, this is absolute dog shit. I wouldn't recommend watching this. I turned it off after about half an hour. I mean, I'm still going to keep it for the collection, but it's not worth watching. Now, we have Boys in the Hood, the Blu ray, and the DVD. I owned it on DVD first and then uh, got it on Blu ray. Uh, an amazing film. I've seen this about four or five times. Yeah, and I think most people know about this, starring Ice Cube. Death of uh, Death of a Dynasty, I haven't given this a go. Uh, another one that I just grabbed just because it starred hip-hop artists. I, I don't actually know what this one's about, to be honest. And then we have Baby Boy, another great film starring Snoop Dogg. Next we have Biggie and Tupac, the documentary, the story behind the murders. Tupac, Live at the House of Blues. Fug Angel, uh, Tupac, The Life of an Outlaw. Tupac, Resurrection. I do own the soundtrack for this. Tupac, Fug Immortal. The West Side. Rhyme and Reason. Game, recognize game. The game, stop snitching, stop lying. This is a really good documentary. Well, it's kind of like a documentary, I suppose. But um, yeah, really good. I showed the uh, mixtape, I think, on my first video that I uploaded when I showed my game collection. Um, highly recommend checking this out if you haven't. This was to do with all the beef that he had with G-Unit. And then... Plan B, so the guy who produced Ill Manners, the Blu-ray that I showed. Um, this is the guy, the rapper. Um, one of my favourite artists from the UK. Luckily, I managed to see him live. I highly recommend checking out his music if you haven't already. But this is a really good live performance. The third pile, we have Welcome to Death Row. Mob Deep, Infamous Alliance, Part 1. Now, this actually comes with a mixtape as well. Snoop Dogg, Reincarnated. Uh, I thought I said Snoop Lion. Um, yeah, no, this is a great documentary. This is on Netflix, but I wanted to get a physical copy. Now, this took me a long time to find. I don't know if it's hard to find, but uh, it was quite expensive. So, um, that's, a, that's a really good documentary. We have Snoop Dogg, live. He actually brings out the game for a few songs. 
big Snoop Dogg's Puff Puff Pass tour. The World According to Rizzo, live in Germany. Method Man, live from the Sunset Strip. Wu-Tang Clan, Disciples of the 36 Chambers, Chapter 2. This is a uh, another live performance. Wu-Tang Clan, The W. This is, I think, just music videos. But what I don't get is, if I remember rightly... It's the clean versions of the songs. So you have the videos, but it, it takes out all the explicit lyrics, which makes absolutely no sense, considering it's a 15 as well. So I was really disappointed when I watched them because half the songs just blurred out for some stupid reason. And then we have Naz Q-Tip and Jay-Z, East Coast Mix 1. Onto the fourth pile, we have Akon, His Story. I own two copies of this because one of them skipped. So luckily they sent me out a second copy. Naz, Time is Illmatic. I actually got this for about a pound when it first came out. It was on the market for some reason. So I was really happy when I got that. Naz, Made You Look, God's Son Live. Kanye West, another live performance. Exhibit, Restless, Exposed. This is another one that took me ages to find. I don't know if it's hard to find, but luckily I managed to get a copy quite cheap. The Art of Rap, directed by Ice-T. And the last one in this pile, Jay-Z, Fade to Black. I also own Lil Peep, Everybody's Everything. Now, this is another one that's on Netflix, um, but I really wanted the physical copy. Now, this took me ages to find, and it was pretty expensive, to be honest. I think it's about 18, 19 pounds, but um, a great documentary, and I'm really happy to own it. I believe it was only released in america maybe like a limited edition drop so this is the american copy and then also i have the steelbook case of straight out of compton uh, i got this really cheap as well i think it's about three pounds so really glad that i own that also onto the final pile we have funk master flex beef number three Hip Hop Nation, Corrupt GTV, Straight From The Projects, See Murder, DMX, Angel, One More Road To Cross, I believe this is a documentary as well as a live performance, it's been a long time since I've seen all these, The Source Awards, And onto the 50 Cent ones, we have 50 Cent Refuse to Die. Garage Die Trying, uh, another great film. I really enjoyed this one. I wish it was released on Blu-ray. 50 Cent Live in Concert. And then finally, just because I keep it with my DVDs, we have 50 Cent Bulletproof the Game. I haven't actually completed this. I did start it a, few, a couple years ago again, but I, I never got for it all. I do want to get the PS3 version, Blood in the uh, PS3 game, sorry, Blood in the Sand still. So that was my hip hop collection part six. Just quickly went through the DVDs that I own and obviously the PS2 game. So if you haven't already, check out the previous videos of my collection. And soon, may, well, might be my next video, I might show my vinyl collection, well, part one of that, or I might just carry on with my CDs. Thank you for watching.